Hi all you Kerbins, I'm Mike and this is KSP. Um, so, I'm just going to start off this, uh, this video by telling you what happened at the end of last video. Um, some of you may have watched episode 5, Jeb is a Legend, and saw the end of the video. Now, there are going to be spoilers. If you uh, don't want the spoiler, um, I don't know, skip ahead a couple of minutes. But um, here's the deal. What happened was that Jeb continued to fall and then hit the ground and lived. There is actually a flag somewhere Probes, uh, ship stations, bases, flat flags. Jeb's Earth landing site. This is where Jeb landed. I got him to plant a flag there because he is an effing legend. He fell from orbit and landed safely. <laughs> so, just in case you were wondering what happened, that's kind of what happened. Um. I don't know what happened. I guess it was a sacrifice to the video gods. They ate it. Um, because I was anticipating that being at the um, the end of the video. And I was actually watching it with my friends. Um, I don't usually watch my videos. Um, <laughs> which is probably apparent when you, you know, see the kind of uh, production quality that I have. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that the end just kind of cut off abruptly. And you missed the best part of the freaking video. I lost my shit. I, <laughs> I laughed so hard. Anyway, so that's what happened. Um, but this time I'm back. And you may think... Well, over this week, did Mike go and do any research about how to go and... Um, do any of uh, of the stuff that he needs to do to, to make better spaceships? And the answer is, no, absolutely not. What I do have um, are is, one, uh, your advice that you guys have been putting in the comments, like, um, for some of the basic controls, and two, um, I printed off a PDF with the um, with a shortcut for all the controls, um, and I have that right next to me. I don't think it's going to help. But <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to try to build a craft. And we're going to try to go to space with it. So, we're going to take this command pod. And we're going to take utility. We're going to go and put a Mark 16 parachute on there. Um, what do we have here? Skyans. Mystery do... <laughs> mystery do... Mystery Goo Containment Unit. We want these on here. Of course. Um, and then, what we want are fuel tanks. Because... Oh, no. Actually, what we want first are... Uh, stack decouplers. Yeah. Because otherwise, we can't decouple our stacks. So let's take a bunch of these. Let's say... Oh... Um, okay. Follow me up here, if you will. There we go. I don't know. Four? Four sound good? Yeah, okay. And one of those stacked decouplers, because that sounds like a groovy. Ooh, yeah. Smooth jazz. Brought to you by KSP and Mike. I played with the sound settings, so I don't know if you guys can hear this. If you can't hear the smooth jazz in the background. This is probably pretty weird. <laughs> it probably just sounds 
like I'm making love to the microphone. And I am. Well, not literally, you understand. But I'm doing this to make things right. Make things right for space flight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. I know this is why you guys secretly come here. Um. We want the most maximum thrust. <laughs> I'd like to say that I'll stop. I'll likely never stop. I'm like this in real life. Um. I just, I'm sure, like, any of my friends can attest to. Um, let's see, let's throw in another engine here. Another liquid fuel engine, and that'll be good for this. So now what I want to do... Thrust 18. Uh, small canister with what feels to be okay. Right. One to separate chance when you use it. Such a okay. I want one of them. Then they are radial decouplers. Um, and we want to change the symmetry mode to four. You might be asking yourself, why do we want to change the symmetry mode to four? Well, that's because we want four of these. <laughs> I don't know why you'd ask that. I mean, it's it's pretty clear. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that like that. Oh, that seems like a terrible idea. Well, let's face it, most of what I do in this game seems like a terrible idea, but I do it anyway, so... Alright. Um... Aerodynamics, so let's put... Let's put a nipple on top. Because nipples are aerodynamic, I hear. Um... This is a big rocket. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I am aware this is more or less the same rocket I've been building. Did I put this on right? Are these... Are these on correctly? I guess we'll find out in space later. That's probably a really crappy thing to hear if you're Jeb. Or any of the cribbles that are... There we go. That's better. Or at least it seems better. I'll be able to sleep tonight. Alright. Um, and then let's let's put on... Yeah. Yeah. That's more or less in the right place. Alright, so let's have a look at our, um, that should go on, and then that should decouple, right, and then this should happen. I think this is actually all correct. Some of you are probably at home yelling, oh god, no, it's not correct, what are you doing, you're going to die. And that's probably true, but, I mean, you all gonna die sometime. Yeah, and then it's going to decouple right here. No, that, that actually looks fine. Did I do something right? This seems a little bit too low. This should probably go lower.
All right. Slide it down. Oh yeah. Here we go. That's better. Oh yeah. All right. Untitled spacecraft. Let's put it. I'm not gonna name a spacecraft until we have one that's successful. <laughs> All right. Nice walking baseline. Oh yeah. All right, and yeah, it's standing on the launch pad. There we go. You gotta turn on the SAS. I didn't think that uh, I had totally forgotten that, uh, like the command pods have some SAS. Uh, they don't have, like, their own SAS module, but they, they have some, like, SAS kind of built in. And uh, that was something that I was definitely forgetting about um, last time. So we're going to do that with SAS. And things might be a little bit smoother this time. Who knows? So far, so good. Yeah, there we go. Straight up. Look at that solid fuel go. Well, this is going to be boring. It's going straight up and nothing's trying to wobble and explode. Obviously, my calibration for the winglets is not great, but... Yeah, look, Jeb is amazed. He's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> All right. are still on. But we're gonna burn on this for as long as we can, I suppose. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try wedging ourselves in here. Disengage! No, I don't want to... I don't want the fuel tank. Well, if this fuel tank could... Disengage from here, that'd be great. get in like that? Nope. Hey, you know what? I think I put it too damn close. Oh well. <sighs> yeah, it kind of diverted course. I, I get that. Oh, whoops. I'm doing that the wrong way. Hmm. 
There we go. What are you doing? Stay up. Stay up. Man, I can't help but think I'm going to be having this exact same conversation in 50 years. Uh, <laughs> come on. There we go. Uh, take a crew report, I guess. Yeah, I guess keep this data. I'm over somewhere new. Take SAFs off and see if we can wiggle free. Let's see if we can get some drag like that and get it to. There we go. Ooh, we're gonna land near these islands. Good job, come now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is kind of a dud insofar as... I mean, I think that there was... Hmm. <laughs> Jeff was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> there we go. Fast forward this a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think that there were some elements to this that were good. Oh, <laughs> I was like. That sounds like it's awfully close, and it was in, like, I guess, terms of, you know, space, but, um, yeah, I don't know. This started off well, and I had high hopes for it, but, eh, uh, recover the vessel here. Yeah, I got a little bit of science. Meh. Got 15 science, which I guess is good. Um, we're going to try something different next time. Um, see you then! Uh, if you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you um, haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you may want to do, that button is down there as well. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you'd like to join me on Twitter, Twitch, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description and bring you right to where you need to go. But I've been Mike, and you've been you, and this has been Kerbal Space Program. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!